Uh, I'm happy to be here at uh, Beyond Facts uh, in, in Singapore. Uh, my name is Filip Vensovsky, and I'm um, from the Prague University of Economics and Business. And I'd like to present uh, this work towards uh, fact check summarization leveraging on argumentation elements tied to entity graphs. And, and this is the joint work of uh, my colleagues, Kateřina Hanikova, David Chudan, Vojtěch Svátek, Petr Vajdečka, and also uh, Rafael Tronsi from Eurecom and uh, Jana Sirvatka from uh, Prague University. Uh, let me remind you the, in, to put into context how the fact checkers uh, usually work. Uh, they start with uh, identifying a claim, uh, they, uh, which we heard a good presentation about this, uh, this topic uh, today. Uh, then collecting the evidence, uh, reasoning, uh, building argumentation, and then reaching a verdict, and also uh, trying to explain the best of the verdict to the audience, and then publish it. And uh, uh, how one report uh, could look like, this is one example from PolitiFact, uh, with, uh, with this claim, in cutting greenhouse gas emissions, uh, the United States is leader in the world by far. Uh, this is the fact check that has 100,000 words, uh, more than 30 paragraphs. And uh, you can see uh, on the left bottom, uh, this is our ruling, which is the end part of the fact checking report that summarize the claim and also uh, the, the main argument for the, for the verdict. Uh, if your time is short, it's another way of perceiving this uh, fact checking report, which contains uh, the, the facts uh, on which the ruling is uh, based. And this is also uh, categorized as half through, uh, which is the, uh, the category that uh, we focused on because we think it's uh, most complicated to understand for the end uh, users, for the readers of the, of the fact checking reports. And what is the challenge? Uh, the main challenge is to help the, the users to perceive the fact-checking report. Those users, they are uh, interesting in understanding the reports. Uh, the main problem is the, uh, that the reports are very lengthy. As you can see, that 1,000 words is, uh, you, you need to make time to, to read it uh, completely through. Uh, so you don't really want to uh, share it either. Uh, the, you, you can, as a fact-checker, do the manual summarization, which is uh, quite time-consuming. Uh, but they are also uh, ways to uh, do that uh, automatically. But those uh, current summarization techniques, uh, they may omit some key details of the argumentation or lack some context provided by the fact checker. So what is the solution? Uh, or uh, what is the problem with those uh, summaries? Uh, they can be less comprehensive, the, summar the summaries. And they also can be less uh, trustworthy, uh, which is, uh, we uh, shed the light on the on the whole uh, fact checking industry uh, as um, altogether. So uh, we uh, created this uh, solution. Uh, we try to uh, automate the summarization with the use of uh, argumentation elements. And I'll tell you uh, what argumentation elements are during the presentation. So our strategy uh, was to uh, identify those argumentation elements. For example, uh, misleading relationship is a, a good uh, argumentation element uh, for that claim we, we saw, or the, the whole uh, fact check report. And uh, we you know, came up uh, these uh, elements just by ourselves. Uh, we did it by ourselves, but with support of this uh, entity graphs, uh, which I will talk about uh, more in detail in the future. Uh, and uh, to go back to the summaries, we also uh, found the text snippets that supports those argumentation elements that can be injected uh, together with this argumentation element uh, for the summarization algorithm in order to uh, focus more on argumentation strategy than just the facts uh, itself. So the goal is really to help the users uh, to have the, the fact check uh, to, to capture the essence of the fact check, not just uh, the facts itself. Uh, those are the research questions we focused on and also the way uh, this, this presentation is structured. The first one was, uh, uh, if there are uh, those recurring argumentation elements 
and if it's possible to capture them by entity graphs. Uh, the second one is uh, if uh, automated summarization would help, uh, would uh, fact checkers would benefit from. Uh, and the third one uh, is about the automatic detection of those uh, augmentation elements. Uh, this is the research design. Uh, we did two annotation campaigns and two uh, experiments. Uh, the first annotation campaign is based on the uh, first entity graph, which is the seed graph uh, that the senior uh, knowledge uh, engineer prepared. And based on that, uh, we took the data from uh, Demagog CZ, which is the, the Czech version of PolitiFact uh, with the same goals. And we created uh, 50 semi-informal statements uh, approximating the entity graphs, which was very textual form, but was semi-informal uh, uh, representation. Uh, we took these uh, examples and created argumentation element catalog, which contains the examples with a uh, description of the elements and uh, how, how you can uh, annotate uh, further data. And what was the input? This was the input for the annotation campaign. Uh, the annotation campaign uh, used the data from PolitiFact, so it was in English, the first one was in Czech. And as a result, we've got uh, 54 snippets, the te textual snippets, uh, that uh, can be used, uh, injected and used for the uh, summarization. And we also have uh, 68 annotations of argumentation elements. There are more than the, the data because we have uh, more opinions uh, available or allowed. And these annotations, and uh, together with the snippets, were part of the summarization experiment, and the annotations were part of the uh, annotation experiment. Uh, okay. So the uh, first uh, research question is about getting uh, the modeling of the knowledge graph or entity graph and uh, capturing those uh, argumented argumentation elements. So we looked up for existing uh, modeling techniques and uh, we found that there is a augment modeling ontology based on Tumin model which uh, captured the whole sentences or whole, whole uh, um, just sentences, a couple of sentences maybe uh, from the text, which, not, was, which was not what we were uh, looking for. We are looking for something that is really uh, formal, uh, or more formal, but still understandable for the users. And then we look for the argument uh, interchange format, which was really focused on the interchange machine to machine, very detailed, not really useful for, for the uh, end users, and also uh, the markup language, which also uh, work uh, for the, the whole sentences. And then we came across uh, through open claims model, which is uh, by Stefan as, as well and, and the other authors. And we found out that we can really complement this uh, model in, in the part of the claim proposition and, and the representation especially. Uh, so, so we like the, that how, how this, uh, uh, the, the claim is put into context together with the, with the, context, with the uh, fact checking, uh, the, the attitude, and the, the context uh, of the claim. And we worked on the representation because we, we, we thought that the textual representation is, is not enough and the formal representation is, uh, is maybe too formal. So we came something in between, which is the entity, entity graph in pro notation. Uh, for example, uh, in the claim we saw, we have this, uh, uh, the US is the leader in cutting emissions. And this is the, the main uh, relationship in pro notation. We have the US and the cutting greenhouse emission. Uh, you can you can see that oh, sorry, uh, you can see that the the it is this is on a uh, instance level, uh, you know, uh, in opposite to the whole class level, which uh, normally uh, you would model in an in a knowledge graph, which we think it's more understandable. Uh, the other uh, uh, positive. Uh, attribute of the presentation is that you can use NRA, uh, uh, NRA relationships. So we can uh, use it as well, not, not just uh, in this uh, small uh, argumentation element, but also you, you can 
uh, go a little bit more deeper and model the the denial justification, which means what was the claim uh, referring to, which was in this uh, way that uh, U.S. sin is sorry uh, that U.S. is on a first rank in cutting emotion, uh, sorry, cutting uh, uh, emission. But it was in absolute values. That's why it's misleading. Um, and if you look at the percentage, it's on a fifth uh, rank on, on the world. So that's why the whole uh, claim was misleading. And you can clearly see why. OK, we call it uh, auxiliary argumentation element and verdict argumentation element. And we further work with this uh, verdict arguments and textual snippets. And the argumentation element consists of the, these uh, pairs of adjectives and nouns. And those uh, nouns, they, they are tied to the uh, symbols of the pronotation. This is the other example that uses instantiation. You can see that uh, kids is, uh, is the class, and it's uh, instantiated with uh, some objects. Uh, and the key message here is that uh, uh, the kids are uh, less likely to get seriously ill. It's the presumed justification. And uh, the, in the, the claim said that uh, they are more resistant uh, than uh, all the people. So this, this is the other type, the false relationship. Uh, uh, this is the result of our uh, annotation process. Uh, we annotating the the 54 uh, claims uh, or, or the whole uh, fact checks, and how uh, the the augmentation elements are represented. You can see that the most of them are a false relationship or false value. Uh, yeah, also, we also used uh, exaggerated relationship and misleading relationship and values. Etc. So uh, go back to summarization. The the main point of the of the paper. Uh, those are the uh, examples of uh, snippets that we used, and those uh, snippets they they are connected to uh, presumed justification, justi uh, justification of the verdict as a whole, or denial justification. So this is the, the main part of the argumentation that we we, we saw in in the graph. Uh, we used uh, open source models. We used the uh, LAMA2 with uh, 13 uh, billion parameters. And we did uh, two fine tunings. The first fine tuning was with uh, the manual summaries from Portifacts. And the second one was with combination with extractive approach. The extractive ap approach is the approach that we did, uh, that Petr did in the previous uh, work. And he used the TFIDF as one of the extractors and uh, semantic outliers uh, and just kept them the, the, the whole, the, the, the central idea of the, of the fact check. And, and the other experiment, we uh, combine this with argumentation snippets we have. And this is the result. And you can see that uh, it's the baseline with, with just uh, fine tuning with the 54 uh, fact checks from PolitiFact and the road scores uh, you can see here. So you can see it's slightly, uh, it's slightly better uh, with the extractive, with the extractive uh, outliers and TFIDF, and also with the argumentation snippets. Uh, we also uh, did the experiment with the automatic uh, extraction of the patterns, and we use uh, LLMs for that. And uh, first, r first round was uh, with ChatGPT in December 2023. Uh, we had 15 examples from our own uh, labeling for, from, then, from uh, that 54 uh, fact checks. And we compared it with uh, two, two human annotators. And you can, uh, yeah, the ChatGP got instructions from, from our argumentation catalog. Uh, but uh, the result was uh, not really promising. We got uh, misleading from the model in all the cases. So it cannot really. Uh, Consider the, the other uh, the other adjectives, uh, but we got the six full matches uh, with the annotators. Uh, full match uh, means that it was adjective together with the noun as well, like the uh, false value, for example. Uh, the, there was six partial matches, three mismatches, 
uh, the complete mismatch with the annotators. And the other experiment with the, with, was uh, in February with custom GPT. And the GP, custom GPT got the instructions as well from the catalog. Uh, for example, as you are, your role is to act as fact checker, like the whole, whole uh, chat GPT model. And we again did the 15 examples and uh, captured two different results. So the GPT has two opinions on, on, the, on the fact check. Uh, we got just one match. Uh, four were partial and ten was complete mismatches, and uh, just three were according to the catalog, and the others were uh, completely outside of the catalog. Those were uh, were just uh, you know fabricated from from the GPT. Uh, to summarize, so uh, for research question one, uh, for uh, recurring argumentation elements, uh, we found that there are really, uh, there are relatively coherent results among those two preliminary studies, uh, but it was very limited data. We have just uh, 54 uh, annot uh, annotations, 54 uh, uh, data inputs, and we did entity uh, modeling in pure notation uh, because of the N annotation and instantiation, and we got the catalog of the patterns. And for research question two, uh, we've got uh, text snippets uh, representing the, the argumentation uh, of the fact checker. And uh, we, we can see that the uh, root score mildly improved with, the, with this limited data. And for research question three, uh, we saw that it's, it is possible to extract uh, with, with this uh, chat GPT models, but there's a large room for improvement with our custom uh, models perhaps or with better uh, prompt engineering. Uh, we'd like to uh, work more on, on the uh, graph model, mo modulation uh, with further exercises, have uh, more data, and also uh, uh, under, undergo the study uh, how users perceive those graphs uh, along with the text, if it's helpful for them, and uh, in what circumstances. And with the argumentation element extractions, uh, we can do the few short learning experiment or fine tune the, the GPTs or uh, try, uh, try our uh, own models and also try the snippet extractions which we didn't uh, try. We just uh, extracted the, annotation, the uh, argumentation elements. And for summarization, uh, we can uh, try to experiment with the different length of the, of the summary and see how, how it's perceived by the, by the end users. Uh, so this work uh, is a part of the whole project, a uh, simple project funded by the uh, Hysterra. Uh, so thank you for your attention, and uh, this is the summary you want to see.